and next type of defect basic defect is this uh, substitution what is the meaning of this substitution it is replacing the existing one okay so when i said the re replacement of existing one if you replace with the same type of atom then it is not called the replacement of another one okay you 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 don't feel any difference if you replace with the same type of atom you need to replace with the different types of atom so that it is a called as the substitution here so here what happens if i take any atom so this atom will be replaced with some other type of atom okay see this is replaced with the red color atom here and if you look at here is there any change in the number of you know bonding here with the neighboring atom okay there is no change so there is no change and before going for the strength calculation we will see what are the general things we need to observe here about the conditions what is that diameter okay here replacement replacement of original or existing with foreign atom okay foreign atom and what is the condition here if you observe generally the diameter of the replacing atom or foreign let's say diameter of the foreign atom is equal to the diameter of the you know original or the atom which are is there already in the cell okay actually this is approximately equal see sometimes the diameter may be less or sometimes it may be more but in either case it should not be you know more than or less than 15 percent of the original diameter generally this is the case okay otherwise the distortion will be very very high okay and then valency so valency of the foreign atom should be less than or greater than here if you observe this is simply replacing the original one okay it is simply replacing the original one so the valency should be equal to the original one okay when i say should be don't think it is only should be equal to actually it 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 equal generally it is equal to the original atom sometimes you know either you can insert some uh, atom which is uh, more than that for example here some of the time we will insert a uh, silicon into the gallium atom so silicon is having a uh, you know not equal number of uh, uh, electrons as that of gallium okay there is a difference but the difference is not that much only one okay so here generally vacancy will be you know equal here in this case generally a vacancy sorry valency not vacancy sorry valency will be equal and the diameter also equal okay and coming to the strength strength is there any change in the number of bonds here formed no why because we are simply replacing the original one and it is uh, still maintaining the same number of uh, bonds that they, uh, it is having previously no oh, so strength you know remains the same remains yeah, of course there there is some small changes okay why because the atom is changing there is a ch difference in the the amount of attraction between these atom amount of uh, you know bond between these atoms okay then there will be very very minute change but we can say remain same okay not affected so here what would be the example we see strength strength not change the strength of strength of the material may not change but the properties may change here if you observe properties even in the previous case also properties changed why because in the substitution and vacancy the number of uh, atoms are changing so there is a property especially in the interstitial atom other new atom is coming and sitting so that properties are also changing and here also even the strength is remain same properties are changing why because there is a new atom here uh, you know from the original atom okay and uh, here what is the example for this example is for example you can take a uh, uh, brass okay you can take brass what is the brass here see you remember brass this is important brass bronze these metals i i will deal uh, in a separate topic for that i will take all the general materials and i will explain so brass is a 
combination of copper plus zinc if you add zinc to the copper actually here out of this this is the main component copper is the main component here okay so if you add zinc to the copper then what happens the copper strength will be increased its strength will be increased of course even though strength is increased it, it is not more than the steel okay so strength will be increased so that is why we are adding zinc to the copper here see this is very ancient invention from the uh, old and very ancient days we have a bronze and a brass you know uh, articles artifacts so here what is happening when I adding a zinc then it is replacing some of the atoms of a copper okay it is replacing for example like this these are all copper let's say these are copper so some of the places it is replacing with the zinc okay maybe here one and here one here one more zinc like that you know some of the places it is replacing so that is called as the substitution and here if you observe the atom, copper atomic number is 29 and the zinc is 30. So these are very nearer so that we can say the number of you know electrons are very nearer to one another so that the size of the atom also very nearer. Okay very very nearer to this. So here that is why we can easily replace with the zinc you know copper atoms can be replaced with the zinc here and the valency of course there is a difference in valency but still it is a you know can go and here okay we we've been uh, talking about advantages always okay even in the interstitial defect we said that you know steel is formed because of that and here also um, here also we are saying uh, brass will be found you know with this but uh, where is the actual concern that is happening and why we are treating them as a defect why we are treating them as a defect see if you observe in case of vacancy it is very evident okay no need to worry but uh, in other cases also you can observe that the coordination number is changing here the coordination number changing what is the coordination number if you consider any atom okay so how many nearest atoms are there or, or what you know the particular atom whichever you consider with how many nearest atom it is forming the bond in other words you know it, how many atoms it is in the touch okay so in the previous vacancy and interstitial it is evident that uh, you know coordination number is clearly changing even here in this case also there is a slight change in the coordination number why because it is uh, also depending on the size of the atoms the coordination number okay for example if you put a very small size of atom which is not touching the atoms other atoms then you can say that the coordination number is affected here so whenever the coordination number is affecting here in turn it is affecting the the bonds between uh, different uh, atoms here okay that means here some of the bonds are not uh, saturated so there is a distortion happens because of the coordination disturbance there is a distortion happen in the atom so that distortion is nothing but a defect here okay that is how these defects are happening and based on this defect combination of by taking combination of these defect we can observe two other important defects okay uh, so those defects we will you know see now